Hello everybody, Tony from Hoosier Outdoor again. And I've been seeing a lot of questions about cots lately and I kind of showed the setup of our Coleman's in the Gazelle T4. So uh, today I'm on a solo trip so I brought our nice Teton XXL cot. This thing is massive. Thought I'd show it to you. It's a little tricky to set up in the tent because it's kind of bulky to set up. But I'll show you uh, what it looks like with the pad outside and uh, what it looks like when it gets set up. All right, so here's the cot and the pad that um, you can get with it. The whole set's around $200, I do believe. 80 for the pad, 120 for the cot when we got it. Uh, the cot comes in this black bag here. Not the best. I wish they would have done a better job on the bag for uh, how heavy duty the cot is. They kind of skimped on the bag. However, they did not skimp on the pad. You can use it with or without the cot. It does strap down perfectly to the top of the cot and is super comfortable. So let me get this set up and I'll show you how it fits in the Gazelle T4. Okay, we got her all set up. Thought I'd show you how I set up the tent. So, when it's just me by myself, spin you around here. Uh, my camp table and power supply. I've had a lot of people ask about this. This is the old Polar clip-on fan. It is 10,000 mAh. On medium, it will run for about eight hours, but um, I keep it plugged into my nice big power pack there and it will run days. Neat little gazelle trick, if you don't know it, um, you can buy these little magnet lights that just hang perfectly on the hooks. But what you're all really wanting to see is this monstrous cot. Um, haven't put the pad on, I'll put that on and show you here in a second, but for size reference, here it is. Let me step out of the tent here and see if I can give you a better picture of how much space it takes up. So you can see, plenty of storage underneath. Perfect when you're solo camping. I also bring indoor outdoor carpet to throw on the bottom of the tent, which works great. But let me get the pad on here and show you what it looks like completed. So there it is complete. Pad has four little cantilever hooks like so on each end. So it does not slide around on you. Up here it's got a little hard board that flips down and keeps it straight. Plus a little pouch to put your phone in or whatever. And that's pretty much it. Perfect for a solo setup. Couldn't fit two of them in here though, not in the T4 anyway. Two may work in separate rooms in like the T8 or the T4 Plus, but that's the Teton XXL and the Gazelle T4, so I um, hope this helps some people out, give you some ideas. All right, before I pack up here, I thought uh, I would go ahead and show you guys how this uh, Teton XXL sets up. So, oh, One thing I'm not a big fan of is the bag. It's uh, not the greatest made thing, just a couple Velcro straps hold it together, canvas bag. Does get the job done, but for a premium cop, I think they could do better. In the bag you have your two cross pieces and the monstrous cot itself. Now it's a little tricky in a tent to do, so that's why I'm showing you out here. The legs simply fold 180 all the way up on one side which takes a little bit of room to set up other leg folds all the way over once you get it out flat the whole thing lays down all right from here you got your two cross poles the back one the front one has, if you can see here, this little red piece right here for the pivot arm. Back one just slides across. It slides across these two little notches right here. Go into the little pieces, if you can see down here. Same thing on this side with a twist. This side you have this little pivot arm right here. Little red piece, this pole's tight. Let me move the camera here so you can see a little better. Pivot arm slides into this little red piece right here. And you pull, 
and it should come down and latch. All right, for reference, I'm 5'11", about 270 pounds. This thing has a weight limit, I think, of 600 pounds. It's huge. It's about the size of a twin bed. Plenty long enough, don't care how tall you are. But uh, comes the price of a little harder to set up. Not the best uh, way to store and a couple extra pieces. Still like my Coleman cots really well. But uh, if you want the Taj Makot, we like to call this thing, this is the way to go. So that's it. This is the Teton XXL. Again, Tony from Hoosier Outdoor. Hope you enjoyed this.